a documentary looking at the life of Whitney Houston will air on Channel 4 tonight. Directed by Kevin McDonald, it features contributions from friends and family, and charts Houston's rise to stratospheric stardom and her sad decline into drug addiction. Today marks the 10-year anniversary since the pop star's death. She sadly died aged 48, and was found unconscious in a suite at the Beverly Hilton Hotel. Medics arrived and found the singer unresponsive. She was pronounced dead shortly afterward. Whitney's cause of death was reported as drowning and the effects of atherosclerotic heart disease and cocaine use. The singer was discovered lying in her bath, and this is how her daughter Bobby Christina Brown was found after her passing in 2015, aged just 22. Bobby Christina was discovered in her bath, and an autopsy revealed a toxic mix of drugs in her system, including alcohol, marijuana and prescription drugs. Sadly, both mother and daughter battled with difficult personal lives in the lead-up to their untimely deaths. Whitney had suffered through a difficult marriage, a nasty divorce, and addiction. After her mother's death, Bobby Christina was hospitalized, having mixed wine and Xanax, as reported by Vanity Fair. Reports also suggest that Bobby Christina had a difficult relationship with partner Nick Gordon. The relationship was controversial from the start because Whitney had unofficially adopted Nick, who grew up with Bobby Christina. But their relationship later became a romantic one, and they became engaged in October 2012. In 2014, the couple publicly announced their marriage, which they said took place on January 9th of that year. However, in a statement the following year from Bobby Christina's father's lawyer, the marriage was alleged to have never taken place. After Bobby Christina's death, the conservator for her estate filed a civil case alleging that Nick had physically abused her and gave Bobby Christina a toxic cocktail rendering her unconscious and then put her face down in a tub of cold water causing her to suffer brain damage. It was also alleged that he posed as her husband in order to inherit some of her mother's fortune. In 2016, Nick was found legally responsible for Bobby Christina's death after a string of failures to meet court deadlines saw the conservator of Bobby Christina's estate win by default. No criminal charges were filed against Nick. On January 1, 2020, Nick died from a heroin overdose while in prison. Nick's lawyer Joe Habicki, said that despite his turbulent last few years, Nick was trying to stay away from drugs. He said, he worked hard to hold his head up and stay sober and he genuinely wanted a happy healthy life with his family more than anything else. My heart goes out to the family and friends Nick leaves behind and to any other families dealing with the losses and heartache caused by drugs. Nick maintained, prior to his passing, that he had nothing to do with Bobby Christina's death. While enduring their own difficulties in life, Whitney had a close relationship with her daughter, according to various reports. After Bobby Christina was born, Whitney told Rolling Stone in 1993, There's been nothing more incredible in my life. God knows, I have been in front of millions and millions of people, and that has been incredible, to feel that give-take thing. But man, when I gave birth to her and they put her in my arms, I thought, this has got to be it. This is the ultimate. I haven't experienced anything greater, 